Hey guys, it's Jacob Gruggy here, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I do have part two of my 725 pound Funko Pop collection. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay guys, so I do have box three sitting next to me here. Uh, if you guys seen the first part, which hopefully most of you have done, if you haven't, go ahead, check that one out now. And uh, I'll leave a link in the description of the first part. So yeah, let's just crack open box three. And I believe these ones are all going to be pretty much Marvel Pops, as I said in the first part. Most of them were Star Wars. So yeah, hopefully we've got some really nice Marvel Pops in here. I don't actually remember the Marvel ones as well as I do the Star Wars ones. So it's going to be actually uh, interesting to see which Marvel Pops we do have today. And uh, yeah, we're starting off with, I believe, the oversized kind of uh, box because I see some massive pops in here. And speaking of massive pops, the first one we have is an absolutely ginormous Kylo Ren. <laughs> so yeah, here is the massive Kylo Ren Supreme Leader 10 inch Funko Pop. And uh, yeah, this one also glows in the dark as well, so that's really awesome. But yeah, it's going to be hard to get, get the lighting on this one so you can see it well. It's just my softbox that's so reflective. <laughs> but yeah, that is the color red. I'm gonna leave him in the background. Hopefully you can actually see him better. Yeah, he's uh, he's not too reflective sitting there. Anyway, let's get into the next one. And next one do have is a really cool one for my collection. Uh, well, that I already have for my collection. And this is the Absolute Carnage, the PX Previews exclusive. So a really cool six inch pop here. And this one's really cool because it has all of like uh, Logan, and uh, who is on, on the graves? Like Logan, I think it's Peter Parker, and uh, other people on the graves there that he's uh, he's killed, obviously, in the comics and stuff. So, yeah, that's a really nice one. So, absolute carnage there. And then another big boy in this box we do have is the 10 inch the thing. This is one I did get uh, from my Pop in the Box sub quite a while ago, uh, that is no longer in my collection. I have shifted that one. So, I do have another one here. So, yeah, maybe I'll be doing an oversized run of boxes fairly soon because I have got a lot of these guys in my collection now. Uh, another quite nice one here is the uh, Infinity War Hulkbuster. So yeah, pretty cool detailed pop here from the Infinity War line Hulkbuster. And then we do have one from a random line like the uh, Night King that we did get in the last one. So we just got a random Bastion here from Overwatch. I remember playing uh, Overwatch and hating this guy. He was so annoying to play against. Uh, but then I feel like when I got better at the game, he was quite easy to contain. Uh, so yeah, here is Bastion from Overwatch, a very cool game. So the next we do have is a very cool movie moment from uh, Infinity War. And this is Thor versus Thanos, one that I did have in my uh, Infinity War collection that I used to collect ages ago. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite pops in the line. So yeah, Thor vs. Thanos, a very cool pop here. So that is the second to last pop in the box. And we do have a tiny little uh, Gar Saxon here to finish things off. And a really cool looking character from the Clone Wars. Uh, yeah, I don't actually like his character, but I love his armor. So uh, yeah, it makes up for it. He's uh, got a very cool Darth Maul-esque looking uh, armor there. As he is uh, following Darth Maul. Uh, when Darth Maul takes over Mandalore. So yeah, very nice, cool Gar Saxon here. And yeah, that is everything in box three. So yeah, let's get into the last box, which should have a lot of the four inch pops in. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay guys, let's get into box four now. So as I said, there's probably gonna be some, uh, well, I, I assume there's gonna be the four inch pops in this one, similar to the first part where one box featured oversized pops and the other box featured the smaller pops so I'm looking forward to seeing if there is some higher end pops in this box and to kick things off uh, looks like there is a bit of a mixture in here we do have some Star Wars pops so uh, yeah this is actually a really nice R2-D2 pop big fan of R2 uh, I think uh, he is definitely a fan favorite uh, so this is the R2-D2 in Empire Strikes Back and I love love the detail on this one he's a bit Dirty there, obviously in the swamps and stuff, where he goes to meet Yoda. But yeah, that is R2, the special edition exclusive, and then uh, quite a boring one here. We do have a special T series Rose. Uh, I don't think her character was anything to write home about, but 
Yeah, an okay character, Rose. Definitely not a fan favourite, but yeah, there is Rose in her disguise. And we do have another cool one from the Empire Strikes Back line. Uh, this is Luke Skywalker uh, carrying Yoda. So, pretty cool one here. So, that's Luke Skywalker carrying Yoda. And then we do have a Knight of Ren pop. So, there is quite a few of these. I've always said that if you get all of these in the collection and then get a cheeky Kylo Ren in front of it, that would look pretty cool. Uh, so, this is the War Club. Knight of Ren. This is a special edition as well, so that's kind of nice. And then we have quite a valuable pop here, I believe. And this is the Hot Topic exclusive, well, and EMP exclusive Vision from Infinity War. So a really cool pop here. I love the, the fact that it's it's kind of metallic-y. As you can see there, he's, he's got like a metallic sort of paint job to him which is really nice, it just gives them that something a bit like special about the pop rather than being a dull sort of paint job. So that is our first uh, four inch Marvel pop, uh, it's not just oversized. Uh, so there is Marvel pops in here, it's not just Star Wars. So we do have uh, some more Star Wars pops, I believe there's a layer of Star Wars ones here and then we get right into the Marvel ones a bit later on. But this is Luke Skywalker, so this is the older Luke Skywalker. And I believe this one, I'm not sure where this one's probably from, The Force Awakens maybe? Or The Last Jedi? Nah, it's probably The Last Jedi, isn't it? So this is Luke Skywalker from The Last Jedi. I haven't seen the uh, Star Wars films in, uh, in a little bit now. I've uh, mainly just been into my Marvel uh, at this moment of time and then The Mandalorian. Uh, so, yeah, it's been a minute since I've watched all the Star Wars films. Uh, but yeah, this is Han Solo in the Carbonite. Uh, pretty pretty cool pop here, actually. And I'm glad they made this pop. It's quite an iconic scene uh, in The Empire Strikes Back. So, yeah, that's Han Solo in the Carbonite. And we have a few more. Uh, this box looks kind of a bit more mixed, uh, which is kind of cool, but I believe the majority is Marvel. Uh, we've got a few more Star Wars pops to go. So we've got the gold 2019 Galactic Convention Stormtrooper, which is quite nice. And then from the same convention, we do have Princess Leia. See another gold, gold version of her. So that's pretty cool. And then we've got another R2, another one from the Futura line. We did get the Darth Vader in the last video. So this is the funky R2-D2 with the kind of zebra looking design there. Uh, I do think, I'm not as a fan of this one. I, I think you can't really beat the iconic blue and white R2-D2. Right, let's get into a few Marvel and then a few other lines. So we've got one from the Marvel line here and this is the Silver Surfer. A really nice looking common pop here. The Silver Surfer from Fantastic Four. So that is really nice. Silver Surfer there. And we do have the Thor, the kind of the fat Thor from Avengers Endgame. Wearing his shades there. <laughs> Looking all chill. So that is the Thor. Do love Thor, he is definitely one of my favourite Marvel characters. And we have Ironheart. So a character I'm not familiar with, but this is the Poplar Box exclusive Ironheart. I'm looking forward to seeing her. I believe it's the a series or a film? I can't remember. But yeah, looking forward to learning more about her character. So that is Ironheart. And we do have Black Panther, obviously from Black Panther, and this is just the unmasked version. There is a chase version of this where he is masked, which is really cool. Uh, so yeah, that is just the classic Black Panther. Uh, but the next one we do have is Modok. So I haven't actually seen this yet. I believe the TV series is on Disney+. Plus. So uh, if this if it's good, uh, you guys uh, let me know what you do think of it. Uh, I have heard some positive things about it, but yeah, uh, I probably will end up watching it anyway. Just let me know if it is good or not. And we do have the next one is Mayhem from Pop in a Box. Well, from Pop in a Box, but Pop in a Box exclusive Mayhem. And this is April Parker, the symbiote for her. So this is quite a cool one. I'm not actually 100% sure on her character. Uh, in the comics and stuff, but uh, yeah, very cool pop nonetheless. And we do have a random one here, we got Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, I've not played this, so uh, yeah, I'm uh, not too sure uh, on the game. Or well, I know it's a jump scare kind of game, and you've got to get to the end without these guys chasing you, but that's all I kind of really know, because I've never played it. <laughs> so I've just kind of seen a few videos on it. But anyway, next one we do have is Hulk from Avengers Endgame. And this is when they're in the Quantum Realm suits, where they have to go back in time and... Uh, 
yeah, fix all the all their problems. <laughs> so, yeah, this is this is Hulk. Uh, obviously, that's a very simplistic uh, version of Endgame. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the next one we do have is oh, this is a really nice one. So this is Miles Morales in his programmable matter suit. So yeah, this is a very oh, that's looking pop. I do love. I do actually really love this line of pops. Uh, it's one I would be tempted to collect. It's just a really cool line of pops. Uh, I do love the fact, obviously like my Deadpool pops, just when they're when you've got a really cool character and they're just done really well in so many different versions. Miles Morales is definitely one of those characters that he just look, always looks good. Such a cool character. And uh, part of me prefers him to uh, Spider-Man. I just love just love Miles Morales. He's just such a cool character. So uh, the next one we have is Master Chief with the M. A40 assault rifle. Uh, I do have this common pop already, but I'm absolutely loving Halo at the moment. Uh, it's, it's refreshing to play another Halo game as good as uh, Halo Infinite is. So let me know if you guys have been playing it as well. I've been absolutely loving it. Let me know your thoughts on it because yeah, it's just uh, it's a very cool Halo game. I haven't played the campaign yet. Uh, I probably will be playing it when I can do it co-op because I'm not a fan of playing campaign games on my own. Because uh, so. Well, I, I kind of am. I just would rather play it with with a friend. I just think it makes the experience that bit better. So I'm going to wait till co-op, and I believe that comes out in like May or August or something like that. Uh, which is kind of annoying that they've, they've done that, but uh, it's what it is. I'm just enjoying the multiplayer anyway. Uh, so we have a quite a cool one here. Well, quite a cool one. This is arguably one of the coolest pops ever made. And this is the I Am Iron Man pop. Obviously from Avengers Endgame. And this is... The scene where he uh, he wins he wins the uh, wins against Thanos, destroys his army and brings everyone back. Very very cool iconic pop here iconic scene and uh, yeah very heart wrenching moment for for Tony Stark and Iron Man. Uh, but the next one we do have is oh okay this is a very uh, I say a weird one because there's a weird printing issue on this Agent Venom. Look at that. I don't know if that is. I don't know if you guys can uh, really see, it's just like a weird printing issue on the side. But anyway, yeah, this is the Agent Venom, the Poppy Box exclusive Agent Venom. Uh, as you can see there, the, I can see in the shot that the printing has just kind of gone to the side a bit. But yeah. A uh, nice pop, uh, Not don't know too much about the character, but yeah, it's a very weird, uh, I guess, chase variant printing edition, which I could probably sell for like 200 quid on eBay. So the next we do have is the J. Jonah Jameson. And uh, this is from Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, by the time you see this video, this is pre-recorded quite in advance. And I'm watching Spider-Man very soon. So yeah, I am looking forward to watching Spider-Man No Way Home. And uh, yes, yeah, so this is Spider-Man Far From Home. So I haven't actually seen it yet, but I would have watched it ages ago by the time this is released. So I am really looking forward to seeing that. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's amazing. I would have watched it probably quite a few, like basically a couple of weeks ago. These videos are filmed so far in advance. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on Spider-Man down in the comments. Maybe we can have a little bit of chat about it uh, because yeah, I'd love to get your thoughts on it. And uh, I'm sure it's amazing. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna live up to the hype because it's a Spider-Man film and they're always good. So uh, yeah, the next one is Reaper. Uh, another one from Overwatch, uh, pretty cool character here. So yeah, this is Reaper. Didn't really use this guy too much, but a cool character nonetheless. And speaking of cool characters, we do have the Joker, arguably the best villain to ever grace the movie world or the film industry. And uh, yeah, this is the Joker from the Dark Knight, the Dark Knight trilogy. Uh, yeah, I feel, feel like this is the best version of the Joker. Uh, I still think he's better than uh, Zhao Quinn Phoenix, uh, but yeah, his his Joker was was very good. I'm just saying that this one is definitely my favourite out of all of them. And then we've got another really cool Miles Morales. If I get another these, another another one of these, I might uh, have to start the collection. But yeah, this is the standard one uh, for this line. So this is in his uh, classic suit. I just love the poses that these Miles Morales pops uh, possess as well. Just, uh, just all of them are really cool. So uh, we are getting a bit crowded here, so I'm gonna. Okay, so moving on, we do have is Taskmaster from the Avengers game. I've not actually played this one just yet, but this is quite a quite a cool character. I do always love uh, all the renditions of Taskmaster, so I love uh, the comic book versions. I love the film version actually, and this one uh, looks pretty cool as well. 
So yeah, Taskmaster from the Avengers game. And then we do have another random DC pop, and this is Zoom from Flash. Nice looking, looking uh, Flash pop here. This is character Zoom. So yeah, quite a nice one. And here is a very cool two pack. So this is Morgan Stark and Tony Stark, obviously in that scene in Avengers Endgame after Tony Stark does uh, die. And uh, yeah, he leaves a recording for everyone to see. Uh, so yeah, and this is Morgan Stark, which he's wearing Rescue's helmet, which does try it on. So yeah, very cool, cool pop here. And I do, I do believe this one does have uh, quite a bit of value as well. Another Fantastic Four pop here. We do have Mr. Fantastic. Let's do a quick spin of him. And then we've got War Machine from Avengers Endgame. So yeah, just the standard War Machine. There is an exclusive to Amazon, I believe, where he is in his Quantum Realm suit. And then speaking of the Quantum Realm suits, we do have Tony Stark in one. And this is just the common. Tony Stark. So we've got quite a few Endgame pops here. Uh, see if we've got any more. So yeah, let's stick to the end game theme. And we've got another couple here. So obviously you've just seen this one. Uh, the I Am Iron Man, Tony Stark. And then we do have Nebula, the common Nebula, in her Quantum Realm suit as well. Obviously it's funny with her because uh, she sends Natasha and Hawkeye obviously to retrieve the Soul Stone, full well knowing that one of them is going to die. So uh, yeah, I always find that funny that uh, when she doesn't obviously offer herself up, she's like, I'm not going to die, <laughs> you guys can do it. <laughs> I always find that funny that they never actually address that as well. Uh, so we do have Thanos, obviously the big bad guy that they're all trying to get rid of. Yeah, the big purple chin dude from, this one's from Avengers Infinity War, where of course he does beat the Avengers. So uh, yeah, very, very cool villain. I love villains that have more of an arc to them, so I do believe. Obviously a lot of people think that Thanos is right, that's kind of what a lot of people were saying. Uh, there's obviously in Hawkeye recently there's that Thanos was right mugs which is quite funny. So yeah, I just love the fact that he's quite a complex villain and you can see, kind of see his side to it. So yeah, that is Thanos, the big purple chin dude, played by Josh Brolin. And we do have Kamala Khan from uh, Avengers game and I believe this is Miss Marvel, she meant to be. So I do believe. Somebody correct me when I did pull this pop in the past, so yeah, quite nice one there. And then we have Doctor Strange, uh, just from the original Doctor Strange. I'm really looking forward to Doctor Strange 2, the Multiverse of Madness. I'm hoping that clears up a lot of things. Obviously Doctor Strange is going to be in Spider-Man, so I'm kind of annoyed that I haven't, <laughs> I haven't watched it. And then I can kind of explain more, because obviously you guys have seen it, I've seen it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to know so many more answers to the multiverse and just Doctor Strange, Spider-Man in general. Uh, but yeah, for now, I don't, I'm don't. i a bit clueless on that front. So yeah. Anyway, this is a Deadpool pop. Uh, you guys know I like my Deadpool pops. And uh, this one is it's quite a funny, quite a funny one. Uh, this is just Deadpool in some crazy pajama bunny trousers, I believe. And he's topless. And it's the uh, 2021 Spring Convention exclusive Deadpool. So pretty nice one there. And then we do have a couple here. We got the original Human Torch. A really cool common pop here. And then we do have a Lady Deadpool popular box exclusive. So glad they made a pop for Lady Deadpool. Hopefully they make the uh, like kid pool and then Headpool has this kind of a, his own character or his own pop. Uh, and then we do have dog pool as well, would be really cool. They've just released a 10 inch squirrel pool, so uh, they are open to doing those sort of characters from the comics, which is really cool. So I'm sure we'll get them uh, fairly soon. It'd be cool to get like a four or five pack of that. That'd be really nice. And then we've got the construction worker Deadpool sticking to the Deadpool theme. So you have the special edition construction worker Deadpool, and I believe this is a Walmart exclusive. So yeah, just another random crazy Deadpool variant. And we're getting to the end of this box now. There's a few more pops left. So we do have another Spider-Man pop here. This is Spider-Man from Spider-Man Homecoming. So just the standard common Spidey here. So yeah, Spidey. 
And then we do have a really nice exclusive here, arguably one of the coolest looking 4 inch pops, uh, along with that I Am Iron Man pop. There's another one from Avengers Endgame, and this is the uh, Wanda Maximoff from Avengers Endgame, the pop in the box exclusive Glow in the Dark version of her very cool uh, looking 4 inch pop here with the translucent, uh, well, I guess, flames or her red like powers. <laughs> so, yeah, very cool Wanda Maximoff pop there. And we got three more pops in this run. So we've got another Doctor Strange, just a gold fan favourite voted Doctor Strange here. And then the last two pops we do have is another Deadpool pop. So we've got Deadpool slash Venom. And this is the Pop in the Box Metallic exclusive version. So quite a nice one here. And then the final pop of this entire £725 collection is the spider another really cool spider-man pop and this is the uh oh this is the another i guess the, i don't know if this is exactly the same as the matter one this is the programmable matter suit and this is also a glow and dark uh special edition so yeah that is everything that is all of the pops in this 725 pound collection so this is the total and the amount of pops in both of these uh two boxes we unboxed today and then here is the grand total for all of the pops in this run showing the profit as well so yeah hopefully we've uh well, well we should have around you know 1800 depending on the prices that uh are in this current time on tpd so yeah i think the part one was probably a bit better like the reason i remember the star wars pops because there was definitely a lot more cooler and more rare star wars exclusives but there's still some pretty nice pops in here uh, definitely a bit more varied this one obviously the majority was Marvel but I hope, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and uh, like to see these sort of things me just unboxing pops just, just quite a chill video and quite an easy one to make for me so yeah hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video don't forget to check out my mission boxes where you'll see a lot of these pops featured uh, at www.growgeek.com and don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and a bell notification so you get notified when my videos go live and I'll catch you next one